Welcome to the 2021 National Academy of Television, Arts and Sciences Northwest Regional Student Production Awards. I'm Rhonda Shelby. We're here to applaud the great work of the high school and college student journalists, video producers and storytellers in our region. Even in a most different year with educators and students alike, we received more than 155 entries from schools from Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Wyoming. To encourage participation during the unusual learning and production environment that many students were challenged with during this pandemic, the Natus Northwest Board waived entry fees for the 2021 entries. We saw many new schools enter for the first time, and that's great news as we work to reach out to more schools across the Northwest. Next year, we're hoping to expand participation even further. So we need your help to reach out to schools who may not have taken part in the student awards this year so that more young journalists and creative minds can get their careers off to a great start. And of course, we should all send a huge thank you to the teachers and advisors for the extra effort, support and guidance they gave their students during this year. Okay, now it is time to get down to business. Time to announce the awards. But first, we do one last exciting reminder here. All winning entries in the high school categories are automatically submitted to the Natus National Student Production Awards. Last year, 10 of our Northwest Regional winners were nominated and five of those won national awards. Very impressive, wow. Now for the 2021 Northwest Regional High School Student Production Awards nominees and winners. Here are the nominees for High School Newscast. And the award goes to... Here are the nominees for Serious News Report. And we have two awards in this category. They are? It's something that she'll have to deal with for the rest of her life. I mean, hopefully she gets 20 years out of my kidney, but she's gonna need another kidney transplant. So while it's a relief that this is all happening and kind of coming to a close, it's, it's gonna happen again. It feels like my voice is more powerful having the right to vote. I've always been really passionate about what I believe in, but now being able to vote, it feels like my passion in my voice is actually going to mean something. It's actually going to change something. Here are the nominees for Light News Report. And the award goes to... So CAN it stands for Change Attitudes Now, and it's a drug prevention program. I've been a CAN member since the end of my third grade year. I've been a CAN member since third grade, which is nine years. We came up with the idea for trading cards when my daughter, who's now 30, was in elementary school, and she wanted to know when the Cody Bronx were going to play the Chicago Bulls. Here are the nominees for Sports Story or Segment. And we have two awards in this category. They are... Everyone was like, Link versus Fame, Link versus Fame. We did a poll on Instagram and Link versus Fame was also a pretty popular one and we knew it had to happen. Black. None of these guys have ever probably put on Black. boxing gloves before. No matter how skilled or unskilled they were, we knew this was like the marquee matchup of all Black. three we were gonna do. My name is Kurt Jensen and I'm an ex-professional snowboarder. I first found snowboarding from watching snowboard videos when I was in high school and I watched a couple snowboard videos, saw how cool it looked and listened to the music and how it all came together. That is what drew me into wanting to actually go snowboarding. Here are the nominees for Live Sporting Event. And again, we have two awards in this category. They are... Oh, it looks like Gabe has a chance to reverse him. If he works to his feet, works to his feet and get his quick points, he does reverse him. That's a two-point reversal. 
We're gonna get at least a three near fall and a chance to pin him with seven seconds left in the mound. Three, two, one. Oh, saved by the bell. And welcome everyone to the first playoff games for the Columbia River Chieftains and the Black Hills Wolves of the girls varsity basketball. Here are the nominees for short form fiction. And once more, we have two awards in this category. They are... To tell you the truth, I get kind of an unsettling feeling from the neighbors, like, like I'm unwelcome or something. Michael, I'm starting to think I wasn't just acting paranoid. Why haven't you written back yet? Are my letters getting lost or something? This is not normal. Here are the nominees for short form nonfiction. And the award goes to... So the whole idea was to create a hospital that would be for that particular political party. All of them want money. Ministers and prime ministers, doctors and nurses, they all want money. For long form nonfiction, we have one nominee and award winner. Hi, Mr. Green, how are you today? Doing great, doing awesome. Thank you, Jessica, for having me. Of course, so let's get right into it. Uh, our first question is, for students who don't know what marketing is, may you give them a brief description of the class and explain which students are able to take the class? Here are the nominees for Magazine Show. And the award goes to... There's 104 days of summer vacation And school comes along just to end it So the annual problem for our generation Is finding a good way to spend it Like maybe Building a rocket or fighting a mummy Or climbing up the Eiffel Tower Discovering something that doesn't exist hey. or giving a monkey a shower. I don't have a trading card yet because I'm a sophomore, but next year I definitely want to have a trading card for football. I have a trading card in 4-H and swimming. The little kids, there's no difference between the Cody Bronx and professional athletes. Here are the nominees for music video. And the award goes to... Sweet persimmon Recalls the last time that we kissed Sweet persimmon Oh, I feel it on my tongue Sweet persimmon Oh, where did my sweet persimmon go? Here are the nominees for public service announcement. And the award goes to... Sleep deprivation. To put it in simple terms, it means you're not getting enough sleep. This can cause 
irritability, difficulty focusing, and even blacking out. In the high school craft categories, here are the nominees for animation, graphics, and special effects. And the award goes to... Here are the nominees for audio and sound. And the award goes to... Here are the nominees for Editor. And the award goes to... I wanted to give back to my community and do something great. That's when I learned about Giving Tuesday. Giving Tuesday is an organization that was founded nearly seven years ago with the mission to harness the potential of social media and the generosity of people around the world to bring about real change in their communities. Here are the nominees for Photographer. And the award goes to only a couple of hours. Dad. And you get money for it. Dad. I've heard daughter's very nice. Dad, that's not the point. I'm old enough now, I can make my own decisions, and watching a thumb-sucking child is not one of them. What would you be doing instead, huh? It may come as a shock to you, but in the real world, you just can't sit in your room all day doing God knows what while the rest of us have to make a living. Excuse me? And finally, for writer, we have one nominee and award winner. A lot has changed in the past year and a half, Ryan. I'm trying to think of what you already know. The last 18 months feels like a lifetime. I started with who I am because I needed you to understand. It really is me. And I really am you. From your perspective, future you. 18 months older you. The you who takes driving lessons in high school classes and the you who has lived through an era of history you can't even imagine. That was fabulous work from our high school students around the region. Hopefully we will see some more national winners from that group later this year and congratulations to all of our nominees. Now let's move on to our College Student Production Award winners. Here are the nominees for College Newscast. And the award goes to... Good evening, everyone. I'm Jasmine Brown. And I'm Carmen Ditto. We've had reports of an earthquake being felt across multiple states episodered out of Stanley, Idaho. Jasmine, you said you felt it there in Pullman? I did. I actually felt one earlier this morning and I was a little hesitant because, you know, you don't think there's an earth earthquake. So um, we were on the Zoom meeting earlier with, you know, our classmates and everyone felt it on the Palouse. Here are the nominees for Serious News Report. And the award goes to... That's downtown Wallace. Typically a bustling environment. Now all people hear is the traffic passing by on Interstate 90. It's the same sound residents and business owners have been hearing for close to a year now. And it's made an impact. Here are the nominees for Light News Report.
and the award goes to... We thought we'd stop by the Wallace Junior Senior High School to see how students and teachers are faring during this pandemic. Just miss the students, wish they were back. It's odd, it's, it's kind of bizarre. Um, you know, I, I miss the students. I do miss my teachers and my friends. Um, like I know like me and a lot of my close friends, we're, we're pretty bummed, but we're trying to make the best of it. For sports story or segment, we have one nominee and award winner. Kevin Bacon used to be a Husky. Oh, I can't admit that right now. Used to be. When his son Lucas walked on with the Cougs, Kevin flipped. As far as allegiance and rooting for a school, that, that's all it is. But rooting for family, I'm number one fan and a diehard Coug. He's made every game, all, all family, grandparents, aunts and uncles, everybody. For short form fiction, we also have one nominee and award winner. You know how my mom always baked? We'd bake my birthday cake growing up, and I loathed it. I hated waiting. But what's funny is, as the years went on, I liked the process more. Here are the nominees for short form nonfiction. And the award goes to. Set. Coming off a hot streak, anyone will tell you they're the best. We had like 18 Olympians, we had a world record holder. But John Chaplin might be right. John put Washington State on the national track map. A genius, hardly challenged as a coach, John spent 21 years at the helm of Washington State. Here are the nominees for long form nonfiction. And the award goes to... Monument Hill is where we've laid to rest different indigenous um, nations or folks that are not directly Otham folks, but there it's a memorial site for, um, I believe, Apache as well. And that has been desecrated by the bombing or like the dynamite that's going in and there's footage. You don't touch the dead. You don't move them. You don't mess with them. You don't do any of that. In the college craft categories for editor, we have one nominee and award winner. You know how my mom always baked? We'd bake my birthday cake growing up, and I loathed it. I hated waiting. But what's funny is, as the years went on, I liked the process more. For photographer, we also have one nominee and award winner. You know how my mom always baked? We'd bake my birthday cake growing up, and I loathed it. I hated waiting. But what's funny is, as the years went on, I liked the process more. And finally, here are the nominees for writer. And the award goes to... You know how my mom always baked? We'd bake my birthday cake growing up, and I loathed it. I hated waiting. But what's funny is, as the years went on, I liked the process more.
How great, everybody. Congratulations to all of our award winners and nominees at the high school and college levels for this year's Natus Northwest Student Production Awards. Now, if you want to see the full list of nominees and see those clips of the winning entries, head to natusnw.org, natusnw.org. Then scroll down to the Student Production Awards links and check them out. To all of you students out there, we look forward to seeing your work again in the future and seeing you in person in the years to come at the Northwest Regional Emmy Awards. I'm Rhonda Shelby. Thank you, everybody.